Welcome to Yield Max TV. No birds, just balls and money. So, a lot of times, now look, we're at an, around an all time high with Amazon. Okay, now we look at our portfolio. I'm going to show you how to do a rip. Are you ready? We look at our portfolio. Okay, now my goal is to pay back the 150000 I borrowed and then margined, okay, to the hilt. Okay, if we look down here, you can see it says I'm low risk, but I have a highly leveraged. As a matter of fact, if we look at my three month, okay, I'm up $23,000. That does not include rips, okay, and dividends. I expect about $20,000 this month in dividends. It's going to be epic. So I have $29,000 that I've already put aside in a special savings account. Okay, just in case. I paid the first month. I just paid the $1,100 interest that was due. And then I made a $5,000 principal payment. Now look, with no money out of my pocket, I was had the buying power of 519,000 shares. We look at our account balance, and you know what? If we look at the one day, it goes up and down. That's all it does, right? So my buying power is 36,000. If I sold $3,481 worth of this right now, that money could be gone tomorrow, okay? 3,481. Let's pull out a calculator. Hold on, hold on. Because look, it's not even a big green day or anything. All right, so where's my calculator? So let's say I sold 3,600, that's what it was before, okay? My impact on my $22,000 or $20,000 a month dividend will be $150. But that 3,600 I could rip off the top right now is three months of interest payments if things went bad. This is how you have to think. This is called selling the rips. Now, so we're gonna come down here. We're gonna pull Mar Robin Hood, okay? Look at this, we're up 37.50. So I'm not worried about reducing my share count tremendously. I mean, out of 22,730, Okay, selling 159 is no big deal, and we won't do this after the initial 150,000 free money is paid off. I'm going to limit these, but look, he said 3750, that will be gone. That will be gone tomorrow if we have a down day. Today we don't even have a big up day. So by taking that and moving it down to the buying power, I've essentially sold the rip without even trading or looking at a chart. Now, it's only 1.42%. Now, if you're a smaller account, that's not going to make sense. For me, having a, a, a massive amount of margin, which is the only way I like to do this, that's what we do here on Yield Max TV. I give you strategies, okay? I don't read prospectus and spreadsheets. I'm sorry, okay? Strategies. $3,750. Do you know? If we come over here, no spreadsheet, but I got a sticky paper. Okay. I'm, I'm going to make this simpler, right? Because it's changed a lot. See, my interest went down from 1074 to 829 a month. Okay. My LOC, okay, the loan uh, line of credit. 9%, is 1146 a month. If I do that rip right now, I could pay three months worth of that. My total carrying costs are $1,981. Now, I no longer have 18,000 shares, okay? I actually, I no longer have 18,000 shares. I have 22. Now, this month I got 97 cents. I don't expect that all the time, even if it's a third of that. The profits are sick. All right, so no longer are we going to get about 17000 because now it's paying $0.97. Cents. Now we're going to get about 20000 okay? Our monthly cost is going to be 1981 no money out of pocket. Look, I've seen people do this on credit cards, okay? On credit cards 
Would I recommend to do that? What am I, Dave Ramsey? I'm going to give you recommendations. All right? What am I, uh, your rich dad, poor dad, Robert Kiyosaki, selling you a course? No, of course not. They would all tell you never take a risk. You know why? You might get rich. Look at that. Had the clarity now. I can see clearly now. So it's going to... Qu and oh, yeah, I know. You're saying, what about Robin Hood? Robin Hood's factored in there. Okay? 6.25. So now, let's get rid of this too. Let's clean up everything while we're all together, right? So after the interest is paid every month, you know what? That leaves $18,000 a month principal. To pay back a loan, which only costs $1,100 a month, because I'm totally leveraged. If it goes down, it goes down. It'll just take me longer. I already took out $35,000 the first month. Okay, I'm waiting for my next. I haven't gotten the first full. I've grown my shares. I haven't gotten the first full dividend yet. I can't wait. It's a few days away. I'm going to report it to all of you, okay, that are subscribed. I started this on 3-1. The $300,000 free money plan right now, it's laser focused, no diversification. I don't want to hear you telling me, oh, buy some puts, this and that. You know what? When I go to the car wash, I don't say, hey, hey, wait, I'm going to wash the trunk and the rims myself with my rag and bucket. No, I'm paying you to wash the car, wash the car. All right. Do the work. This is push button money. This is why I love it. Unbelievable. Earth shattering. So let's go and see where we are now. All right, still the money to clip, 3702. 3702 we could take right now. I don't care about first in, first out. Of course, there's taxes every time we do this taxable event. I have been slowly a, a pre, a increasing my shares, but ripping money off the top. That $3,700, $3,800, okay, is profit today. That will be gone tomorrow. I have choices. Rather than stare at it and watch tomorrow and say, oh, I'm down today. Oh, I'm up today. And I don't do this every day. I can go ahead and I can rip these. Just like this. Right? Now, hold on. Oh, I don't care about that. Hold on one second. All right. So, you've just seen a rip. This is what the pros do. Okay? I just sold into the pump. I've been doing this slowly. Remember, I don't dollar cost average. That's for poor people. And rip it into these pump. That $3,600 just moved from there. Dashboard fictitious money to here. Real buying power. Real money. Now, when would I ever buy back? Well, today, I'm going to do something special. Are you ready? I'm going to withdraw that $3,600 to add to the 29000 that I have set aside for my first two months. Okay? That $3,600 alone could pay three months worth of interest payments if things got bad. Now, what is that going to cost me? I just sold 167 shares at a profit out of my $22,000 or so, it's going to take out $161. To me, that's an epic deal. I know some of you there masturbating to my voice with your calculators and your spreadsheets. Shout out to the pumpkin face, sweaty man, the weak betas, the uh, rod, sit on the rod of the dividend. Divvy the end till the end. I don't go to work. I don't have a job. I don't use spreadsheets. I don't care what quants do. I don't care what they do on Wall Street. You have watched me grow my share count in two months and rip amazing amounts off the top. Now, I'm going to go to my yellow sheet. And you know what we're going to do right here? We're going to add. Okay, you ready for this? So what did we just do? We took what, $3,400? 3400 We're going to call that a rip. All right? So now, if you think about it, hold up. This little thing moves all around. So since I started this thing, right, my new total now is um $39,000 that I've ripped off the top. 
Okay, now don't forget, I made an initial payment. Okay, oops. I made an initial payment, okay, to the mortgage. The initial line of credit first, just to get my feet wet. That $6,100. $1,100 was interest. I don't care about the management fees, smart aleck. I heard you in the background, okay? People get des deserve to get paid for working for me. I know I could do it myself. I could wash my car myself. So can you. We all go to the car wash, right? I know. Okay. Did you ever buy a pizza? A pizzeria? Hey, you can't make a pizza yourself? So don't talk to me about fees again because I'll come over there and I'll knock you out. Okay? Next, we're going to read some comments. So I've managed to rip about $39,000. And increase my share count. Now I'm comfortable with my share count at this point. Okay. When this $3,400 rip. Gets added to the 29000 in the bank. That's 30. I don't What is that? Uh, $33,000 and change. Okay. I'm going to wait. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to do it together. fifty or $100,000. I don't care if it costs me more interest. I can afford the whole thing. I'm going to make giant payments back. <laughs> To the Savage Principal Company. Okay? We're going to make giant payments back. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to do the whole thing all over again with something else. We're going to let the AMZ run. Who cares? At this point, it's no risk to us. None. We're going to take the 150 again. I'm going to find the next big thing. I'm looking at every opportunity. Usually, I never pick one stock for me. This was an opportunity in time that I felt was right. And I only need a certain amount of time to be clear. Once this is free money, it's like I own an apartment building with tenants that are forced to pay. They have no choice. They never call me for repairs. Nothing. Of course, I have to pay taxes on it. What are you, stupid? Would you rather not have a million dollars because you had to pay 500000 in taxes? Come on. Use your head. This is income. More than a doctor makes for doing nothing. Push button money. So what I'm going to do is as soon as this is done in a matter of months and I pay off the entire initial $150,000, I'll keep the margin. $829 a month to make $20,000? Uh, that's worth it to me. Use your head. Think straight money. Okay? Stop with this and that and all the nonsense. Now, I'm going to tell you what else I'm going to do. Okay, it's going to be great. I'm going to write that check again for $150,000. i am going to margin that to the tits. I'm going to find something that's a good payer. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be YMAX. I don't know if it's going to be a new fund. I don't know. I'm looking at everything. Tell me your favorites down below. I looked at the round hill. I looked at all of them. Okay? I need maximum payout per share. The share price needs to be around $20, and I want to know how much money I'm going to get per share. Now, I don't want the wild things, okay? I don't want the Coney and all the crazy stuff. I want, give me 60, 70 cents a share, I'm good, all right? I also want stability in the NAV. I want something so popular that as soon as it goes ex-dividend, people buy up the underlier, and then it moves up to cover the dividend, I have a specific strategy. Welcome to Yield Max TV Strategies. Write the word strategies if you're into this in the comments. Strategies. You could just write strat. Okay? Not strap. Not strap on. This is not retire on dividends. There are no birds back at the ocean here at the glass castle. My glass tower. Now continue on if there's anything else so oh uh, let me rip that money to my bank account right i mean hey ho this is how we do it baby this is how we do it i'm not gonna pay the extra money for transfer instantly you know why they think i'm stupid it gets there instantly anyway now you might say oh but he's still paying much and this and that i'm accumulating a war chest and the thirty six hundred dollars look it's already gone down to 2900 By the end of the day, it could be gone. Now, most of the times, I don't cash it out to the bank. But I'm building a war chest 
So now I should have about $33,000 there. Once I get it to about 50000 oh, the next dividend will bring me to 50000 in a few days a week. Maybe I'll make a video showing you a $50,000 payment to my $150,000 HELOC and show you how fast I can create a free money machine. Thank you to YieldMax. Okay, there's no way you could afford this buying Amazon shares. And even if you bought Amazon on margin, you're crazy. If it goes down, you get nothing. You get a margin call. What's the point of holding Amazon? Buy, hold, masturbate, and pray. And it costs almost $200 a share. These cost $23 a share. I'm not a financial advisor, but I'll tell you, they pay almost a dollar on a share. It's like having a hooker, all right? Not having one, okay, like Cody over at... The average citizen or whatever his name is, okay? No, not like the the Kilmers guy or Kilmers. We are the Kilmers. Not like him having a hooker. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is it's like having your own hooker working for you. And every month she comes and brings you back the money. And you don't have to deal with anything. Yield Max, my new ho. Ho, ho, ho. Tell me if you like this content down below. It rhymes with hoe. Leave a comment. What do you think? Look, I don't want to tell you this. I don't want to say it. If I had nothing, people are stupid. They run up $10,000, $20,000 credit card bills, and they got nothing to show for it. They got skateboards and Bowflex weight equipment, okay, and Peloton machines and crap. If I had nothing, I learned in my life, all of those things that you have are nothing. So if you're going to run up credit card debt, somebody brought this up. It's not financial advice in my comments. Dave Ramsey will roll over in his grave. Oh, is he not dead yet? He looked it. I seen him on, on YouTube. Anyway, maybe it was makeup. Anyway, so listen. I, I would find a way to take money on my credit cards and, and find something solid, okay, and make believe. You forget it. The, the money's not going to pay you credit card debt. What you want to do is get all the credit cards with zero interest and flip them. And then you want to work as hard as you can and make believe you, sell, you bought yourself a TV, a clothes, a few dildos, a jackhammer, vibrator, whatever, whatever, a trip to the Bahamas. But what you really did was bought yourself a cash machine. Gave them with like five grand. And you get it so that it makes you $1,000 a month. And now you got something. Instead of just bills. Just a thought from the Oracle. Tell me what you think. I know. I know. They're not going to like any of it. But I don't give a shit. Me out.